investigation and our question was to see which soil can water flow through more easily? Which one is going to be the most permeable? And you should all at home have done your predictions as well to see everybody in the class has done their predictions. We have got our equipment. So we've got our measuring cylinders. We've got a funnel three, because it's really important that if you're doing an investigation or experiment that you have things, it's a fair experiment. So we've got to make sure I put the same amount of soil into the same size funnels for each of the three and the same amount of water. So the, the filters are these, it's like coffee filters that parents might use at home and they've been just curved so that they would fit into the funnel. And that's to stop the particles of soil going down into the water as well, because all we want to do is to see how much water is going to be in, going into our measuring cylinders. And we've decided that we're only going to be timing it for a minute, so we're going to put the soil in. How much water do you think we should, we should put in? How much water? What do you think, George? Um, what? Um, 10 millilitres? Oh, millilitres. Oh, 10 would be about, about that much water. Think a bit 20. more. Maybe a bit more. 100? Maybe 100. I think 100 millilitres. Okay, so we'll measure that on here. We'll measure that water 100 to begin with. Oh, now then, we've got to put it, so I'm going to have to do 300 because I've got to pour it in at the same time, haven't I? Okay, so I've poured it in. Normally we would put it on a flat surface so we can get the right amount and we'll pour that in. So I've got 300. Okay. Now, we need to put our soil in. Now we've got three different types of soil. We've got loamy soil, which is a good growing soil. Um, it's a mixture of um, a little bit of chalk and um, other silty soil. It's very good for growing. We've got sandy soil, which has got lots of sand in it. And we've got our clay soil, which has come from near the polytunnel. Okay, because it's very, a lot of clay soil there. So lots of clay. Okay, so we'll put the clay soil. I'm going to put... Uh, we're going to put the clay. Oh, it's very sticky. We've all used clay at school. So when it's a very sticky material. So I'm going to have to press that down so that the water can't just run around the sides and down. So we'll put that there. I'm going to put another spoonful, another tablespoonful of clay soil. And I'll do the same with the others. So it's not going over the top of the, the filter paper. Okay, can you see? Okay, all right. There we go, so we've got the clay. Tom's, that one's the clay, so we'll put that one there. We'll do the sandy soil next. So this is this one. Put that one behind, so we know what we're doing there. One and put the same in there so that we have a fair test. It's got to be fair. Most of the things we have to keep. The only thing that's different are the different types of soil. Okay, that's the only thing that we change, the only variant that we've changed. Okay, and this one's going to be the loamy soil, the one that we tend to grow most things in. Okay, a little bit more. Make sure I've got that in. Put that one there. And then we've got our three soils. We've got our loam, we've got our sandy soil, and we've got our clay soil. Okay, now. Now then, as soon as I've put the water in, we need to check on the clock. So we need to measure around a minute. So it's coming up to the top again. time I've poured in. Oh, I think we will. That's it, right. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
so we're going to watch. And we're going to wait till it comes round to minute, and then we'll measure which one has got. here but I think our investigation on this one this was the clay now can you see that water does it look as if it's got any clay in it at all no so I think that water hasn't even gone through the clay it's actually seeped through the filter paper and gone straight down because it is absolutely clear so that one has just seeped through. I don't think it's gone through the clay at all. Okay. Now this one is the loam soil. Now that one, oh, does it look as if it's got a little bit of, yes. of the soil? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that seems to have soaked through. Now this one, it's still coming through. But can you see the colour of it? Yeah. yeah. So what, yeah. what do you think that might tell us? What do you think that might tell us? What do you think, George? That it's take, taken more like soil and bits of like stone and things. Do you from. think it's actually come through? It's come through the soil more yes. than the yes. other ones? Yeah. Because yeah. this one's... This one's come through but there's hardly any coloration in it so I think that one has soaked through the filter paper as well but this one I think has actually gone through the sandy soil and has, has filtered actually through the soil instead of going just through the filter paper so which which one do you think out of the three I know we can see it's got liquid in that one they've all three of them have got liquid in but which one do you think has probably been the most permeable? What do you think, Abigail? I think it might be the middle one. You think the sandy, sandy soil. soil. What do you think, Henry? Yes. Yeah, you think it is. What do you think? Sandy. You think the sandy soil as well. Why do you think it might be the sandy soil? What, what's the sandy soil like, Elisa? Soft and sandy. Soft and sandy. What are the, what are the particles of... Big. Bigger, bigger particles, slightly bigger. I think you are right. I think, I think we agree that the water, that the, the sandy soil would allow, I think, although it's not the most water, I think it's been the most permeable. Do we agree? Give me a thumbs up if you think, yep. Yeah. Fabulous, okay. 